Oh no, the FDA has banned one of the most popular anti-aging supplements, NMN. And it's done this because of the company in which David Sinclair, one of NMN's most recognized promoters, is involved. So what now? What does that mean for all of you who regularly supplement NMN? Now, I've been following this saga around NMN for a while. I've even made a whole review of NMN, which you can watch up here. Now, what I've learned in the past months about NMN, which is a type of vitamin B3, and not some kind of a magical molecule, is that we are still in a very early research phase of NMN. And because of that, it's really hard to make any serious claims about this compound. Sure, the preliminary studies on animals show that supplementing animal may help with maintaining healthy DNA, may help reducing heart disease, and may improve fitness, but a few human studies haven't really confirmed all of those benefits. So claiming that animal is a miraculous anti-aging drug is way, way too early. Having said this, Animan is no longer treated as a dietary supplement since October 2022. When FDA announced that Animan is excluded from the dietary supplement definition, and as such cannot be marketed as a dietary supplement. Now, this is a big problem for all the brands who have been selling NMN as a supplement, but what should you do if you were supplementing NMN? Well, before I answer that, why exactly did FDA ban NMN? Well, that's an interesting story. Now, if you check this article, you will see that this happened because of the Metro International Biotech LLC, which is devoted to pursuing a pharmaceutical development pathway. So what this means is that they want to convert Animan into a pharmaceutical drug. And who is behind that company? Well, who else than David Sinclair, a big promoter of Animan. Now, if you read carefully, they're developing their own Animan called Beta Animan or MIB-626. But as it seems, FDA has banned all types of Animan, which is funny because studies show that Animan is safe for supplementation at a dosage of 500 to 1000 mg daily. So even if you lack confirmed benefits, why shouldn't people be able to buy it? Especially because this is nothing else than a form of vitamin B3. Now, I'm not the right person to talk about lobbying, so I'll leave this to others, but something stinks here. So what can you do if you like to supplement with Animan? Well, first of all, if you're younger than 40, I don't think you need to supplement with NMN. Or saying it differently, we don't have enough data saying that supplementing with NMN will provide any benefits to you, especially at such an age. So in this case, you can save money for other things like donating to my channel. Now, how about if you're older than 40? Well, I checked a few companies who have been selling NMN and they still offer it on their store. So maybe now is the time to buy a bigger stock. Well, there's a link and a discount code below if you still want to purchase NMN. Now, if these stores are shut down, don't worry. You can still take niacin and potentially NR, nicotinamide riboside, to support your NID plus levels. You may add some terostilbin to the stack or just eat more blueberries every day. So if or once companies stop selling NMN, you're going to be in good hands. And if you're unsure about NMN, then watch my full experience up here. And trust me, you may not like what you're going to hear. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you soon again. Stay well.